Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, little update. Got my Christmas gift. Got the, uh... <laughs> I don't even know how to say this. Got the Alpine Type R first gens in mint condition. I mean, these things are absolutely beautiful. Very fortunate to hunt these down, being that they're as old as they are. Um, a lot of work went into them to get them to where they are internally, but we're ready to put them in a box. Uh, let me get a picture of them upside down now. Uh, they're so heavy. Oh shit, there we go. Basket view. And what I love about these, unlike the new Alpines, these have the dual voice coil, of course, but on opposite sides, where they're not weighed down with that sewn in tinsel leads. There's the leads sewn in. See them? Okay. These are uh, definitely broke in. But the coils are new on one of them. And a new spider, a couple spiders on the other one. But I don't know. That's my video. Can't wait to get them in. Alpine Type R12s. Yeah, buddy. You work for something hard enough, you can get it. I know these are no big deal to some people. But I got many speakers got them all over i've been through the comp r's i've been through the rockfords i've been through the high phonics i've been through jl upstairs uh jl downstairs 15s 12s 10s i got mtx in my car now but i always wanted a set of these when i first saw them on a youtube video and I just didn't care for the new Santa, Santa Prime surrounds, the ribald surrounds they put on the newer ones. I just didn't like that. I like these, these first gens with the regular rubber surrounds. These are some pretty thick rubber and they're real nice. I mean, I just, I don't know, man, I'm ready to rock. Heavy duty. I can definitely see how these can handle a thousand watts RMS. I probably push them maybe 500 a piece, 600 a piece RMS. That's about it. That's all they're going to see. I'm not updating my amp. I'm just going to send it. All right, man. I'm out. Thanks.